Hey, welcome back to doing the subclass mission. Um, now, depending on how long this video is. Actually, no. I, I literally lost my ability to edit. Like, both of my editors don't work anymore, and I'm too lazy to find a new one, so. Either way, this is going to be something for the other episode. I'll probably link up seconds. Oh, I love that they added the, you can get the shader if you just can't go on that thing. I, I love the new weapon system. <laughs> Just the fact that I can equip sniper rifles in, a, in I think, any slot. I haven't gotten a new power sniper rifle, though. All my sniper rifles have been uh, kinetic or primary. In both the actual... Well, actually, all of them are special, but... Oh well, yeah, actually, <laughs> what I said the first time was correct. <laughs> they let because it's like they sort of have equivalent power to snipers but you have to like charge them but then even though you have to charge them the benefit is that they're they use primary ammo or at least this one its benefit is it uses primary ammo instead of uh, special I'm also very much a fan of the new ammo system. I like the idea that can can we get closer? I like the idea that the speaker is Congratulations, Guardian. Remember, when we channel the light, we connect to something much bigger Whoa. than any one of us. Even departed sparks, 
like Sweet Kate, light. still leave a trace in this luminous web we call the light. Oh, cool. Oh, so Seed of Lights are how you get the new subclasses. Oh, and I can immediately choose which subclass. The spectral Blades. I don't really want to go to Spectral Blades. I think I'm going to go to... Uh, go straight to... I like that it gives you the choice of choosing which subclass you go into. Instead of just, like, forcing it. Because my problem with uh, the base subclasses is just, like, you had to collect all of them. Well, I mean, you probably have to collect every single one at some point, but you can, like, choose the way you progress. Like, you can choose which subclass you want to get first. The only reason I started with Spectral Blades, or not Spectral Blades, with, uh, Gunslinger uh, subclass is just because it looks freaking cool in the trailers. I was just like, actually, it's probably one of the main reasons I got forsaken was for this subclass. Actually, I think all of my characters except my Titan are gonna start out with the uh, new. Solar abilities. The main thing I love about this class is it's it's sort of a uh, it's more like a AOE subclass for solar, which is what I want in my solar subclasses. Because, like, I I loved Night Stalker. It was my favorite class. And just having something like Night Stalker but with freaking knives instead is just so much cooler. Plus, it's unlike Night Stalker where it's an overtime, it's an instant crowd control. Like, you just go in, activate it, and bam. <laughs> like, a horde of enemies. However, I feel like the art subclass is going to be an essential to feeding uh, the mechanist. Just the mechanist is a uh, one who fires quite a lot of bullets. And the art subclass is basically just like, hey, you see those bullets? I want them to not be there, but still do damage to enemies. Bam! Now you can. It's a cool subclass, and it's probably gonna be my second subclass on Hunter. There we go. We completed Visions of Light. And I think only two episodes. I'd say that's good saying how long uh the first mission took us it took like three episodes for that but now we have or at least now we're starting on way of a thousand cuts lone wolf who lives for the perfect perfect shot i assume the way you continue with the new subclasses is you have to actually use their supers which is good because it's getting me closer to my uh, super kills objective for the spider. Speaking of the spider, uh, next episode we will return to the spider and get 
onwards with the story.